Eurovision wouldn't be Eurovision without a woman who left a lasting impression. In 1993, she came second place, losing out by just one point. Uh, here to give us the lowdown, please welcome Sonia! <laughs> Sonia, that's why you came second, oh, you see, that's what we're saying. It was only one point, I was devastated. Do you, do you think it was different point. then, when, when you did Eurovision, compared to now? Do you think it was taken a bit more seriously? Um, I think it was, yeah. I mean, I did it the year after Michael Ball did it. And, uh, and I can honestly say I had a ball. It was fantastic. I felt so proud, you know. And it was amazing, the feeling that you got knowing that all that many people were watching you, you know. It was where, where was it when you were in it? It was in Ireland, in County Cork. It's right. always in Ireland, isn't it? Well, oh, Ireland always won then, didn't they? Yeah. And when I did it, Ireland didn't give us any points, so we gave them. It's just changed now, hasn't it? I mean, you're fab. You're a great singer. So oh, that's thank you. I used to love you in your little poppy days. And so it must have been a thrill for you then, but I just feel that, you know, it seems to be the kiss of death for everybody, anyone's singing career that goes and represents us in, in the Eurovision, which is a shame and wrong, but it, it, it's a bit of a true. Well, it's changing now. I mean, it, I mean it's... It was political when I did it, but now it's ridiculously political. I mean, you know, yeah. it, I, I, hopefully, you know, Andy does well. But, I mean, I, I think even, even if you had a, a marvellous song, it's still very mm. difficult. And the, the difference with me is when I did the Eurovision, I'd already had the records and the success. So it wasn't like I was taking a big chance, if you know what I mean, mm. being an unknown and thinking, oh, well, if, I, if I'm rubbish and I come last, nothing, you know, nothing will ever happen. So I, I was... Uh, I was very, I was very confident. So, what do you do? Do you have a party? Do you, you know, get all your friends round, like some people I know? I love your vision, Carol. <laughs> oh. I know you don't, but no, um, I don't. I just oh. can't think of anything worse. It's on for about five hours, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's good. <laughs> Saturday night. I mean, oh, it's oh, good. Come on, on, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have a party and everything. We'll get little charts out and write all what you think's gonna win. <laughs> you oh, don't. I do. I confess. I confess. <laughs> I love it. I, I watched it last good. year with a friend of mine who's French. She's quite, quite a young girl. She's only about 20 or so. And she'd never watched it before. And she couldn't get her head around it at all. And she'd go, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Yours? But we had a blast. We sat with a bottle of wine yeah. and really got into it. It's just me and Steve this year. Not so sure if that's what's going to be going to oh. be happening. It does have a massive audience, though, doesn't it? It's like 100 million or something. Oh, yeah, and a massive, massive gay following as well. Big time, yeah. And really? I, I just think it's just a load of... It's fun. It's fun and it's family fun, I think. Will you be watching? on Saturday? I will, yes. Well, I'm, I'm gigging at, um, I'm on Gay Pride tomorrow. Okay. Um, it's the Birmingham one with the big Ooh. one, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll get back in time, but if not, the video will be set. Okay. <laughs> and what, what, what are you up to at the moment, Sonia? Well, I'm constantly gigging all the time, especially this time of year, more in Europe, you know, w because of the Eurovision, I do a lot of festivals and conventions and stuff. But I have my own band and I'm always gigging up and down the country, universities and stuff like that. So, yeah, oh, I'm always right. keeping busy, always keeping busy. So do you think that helped? In a, in a way, you doing Eurovision for the for the Europe part of your career now. Oh, most definitely, yeah, crazy, yeah. But and, and it, it helped me as well because it got me into the West End straight after the Eurovision. Did you so did Greece, didn't you? And did Greece I saw you in the that. You were lovely. Oh, thank you. So it, it it's helped me a lot, and you know, it, people are always complaining. Oh, I love your song on the Eurovision, and I'm so proud. I really am so proud. When are you going to start aging? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you haven't changed. <laughs> no, you're being oh, slimmer. Me. You're, you're disappearing. Yeah. Good Do you stuff. eat? Have a sandwich, love. It's good oh. to eat. Oh. Bigger than her. Oh. And my you... favourite ham sandwich with lots of. I love raw onions, believe it or not. I, like oh. I love onions. onions I think on my we sandwiches. can help you out with that. Judging from the smell of those sandwiches, I think if you're you going to be all right. If you have a raw onion sandwich, all you can do is kiss a door, not a bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only problem, isn't it? You think, oh, I can just leave them all out. Well, you were saying that people keep coming up to you saying, I loved your Eurovision song. Well, that's good, because you're going to get to hear it at the end of the show. So, uh, for now, it's thank you to Sonia. Uh, it's time...
devil you don't know.